All right, welcome back to part three, Steps for Growth in Vision and Dream for Your Future. This is exciting because we've already looked at what is holding us back from the past and we needed some breathing to get us there. We assessed our present of where we were at, identifying those emotions and rating our areas of wellness in eight of those categories. Let's see if I can do it. Eight, eight. I have a funny finger that got caught in a bicycle when I was little, so it doesn't always work. So it doesn't work in that direction. <laughs> so next we're going to envision and dream for your future. And I will share the screen next and we will go on. So envision and dream for your future. Number three, choose one area to make one small change. Set a goal. Imagine, which oftentimes requires us closing our eyes or getting out paper and pencil or pen, taking a breath, what would I like my life to look like in one month or three months or in a year? And we're gonna fill out the blooming woman. Remember, she kind of looks like a flower or a bird, depending on what you look think, but when we designed it, it was to be a woman. Leave, fill out the leaves for what's going to energize or excite you that every time you would look at it, you would see, wow, this is really exciting. I love it. So we close our eyes. We take a breath. Because the life we envision for ourselves is sometimes really hard to describe. Where do you even start? Who do you enjoy spending time with? What activities do you like? As we're journeying through life, sometimes we lose touch with what we even enjoy. Because if this is hard for you, just know you're not alone. Most women have sacrificed themselves for their families, for their work, and they've lost sight of what brings them joy. What brings us joy? I'm right there with you. Think of and name a top priority. What is one goal? What brings you joy and makes you feel alive? We want to move onward to move forward. We're going to print out this blooming woman and I'm going to do this right after this. Remember we're in step, step three. We're almost to the finish line. Print out the blooming woman and what do you want in your life moving forward? What brings you joy? Is it time with your family? Is it your career or volunteer work? Is it a future career? that you're feeling a little nervous about and you want some support? Is it your faith? Is it hiking, some physical activity or adventure? Is it working in your garden or your pet? So write the date so that you can see how you grow into that vision. Modify your vision as you become more in touch with your authentic self. So here's what the woman looks like. What do you want for your life moving forward? Focus on what's important to you and brings you joy. Add, you can add color, more leaves, you can write on it. This is yours. Then how does this visual make you feel once you look and see what you've created? That is the end of that lesson. So short and sweet, they get shorter each time to make you feel more successful. So I'll stop it right here. And you can wait for the final step, step four.